crew, it's your girl Katie's baby, and I'm back again, y'all, with another video, yo. So, y'all wanted me to react to Bryce Hall's new video. I surprised my best friend with Dream Girl. Uh, this is his newest. Not, it's not new anymore because it was August 13th when it came out. But you guys did want me to react to it. Let's get into this video, yo. One, two, three. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Today is a big day. It's actually my first prank on my channel, and I don't know how I'm going to execute it. I might fail, but let's just get right into it. I brought some college cheerleaders over. As most of you guys know, Blake's been simping recently for uh, Amelie. Here's a picture of Amelie. Here's a picture of Blake. And here's them together. So, yeah, Blake's a simp. I got some cheerleaders to cheer for him for being a simp. Congratulations, Blake Gray, for being a freaking simp. Simp nation, baby. We're all a fucking simp now. So, he's actually going to be home in about, like, 20 minutes. Hopefully, my first prank on my channel goes well. He's probably gonna be pissed. He's on roids now. His roid rage is really high right now. Everyone thinks I'm on roids. I'm not on roids. I'm just fucking huge, bro. Alright, let's go see if this plan You find out Bryce getting That's some muscles. Fine. We've been Blake having just got here. Hey, this guy here. And I have a surprise for you, Blake. Sick. Is it a car? I'm gonna blindfold you. I'm gonna take you downstairs because the surprise is downstairs. And then I want your genuine reaction to this. Just remember, don't be a fucking simp. This is like some David Dobrik shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, it is like some David Dobrik stuff, bro. We're going inside. It's not a fucking car. Step. Alright, I'm gonna unblindfold you now. I'm gonna let your rage beat the fuck out of me. Oh no, this is probably some copyright music. He just be trying to copyright me, bro. 21st birthday merch, August 14. It actually drops as well, but this one's for the boys. If you guys want to get fucking jacked, look jacked at least. <laughs> like Josh, wear the shit. PartyAnimal.shop, August 14th, Yo, baby. Up? Time to talk some shit. So Thomas, the man who's preaching to be so noble and giving on camera. There was two explosions in Lebanon that caused over 135 deaths. The estimate amount to fix the city is going to be over $3 billion. And we have to do our part and at least be educated on what's going on if you don't have the money to donate. Well, actually, you're right. I don't disagree. We do need to help. We do need to take action. Actually, that's what I did. Now, Thomas, will you be the one standing behind your words, your statements? Fucking buzzy. <laughs> Alright, Thomas, this is the last video I'm gonna be mentioning your name or anything like that. I'm here to say one last thing, and this is an offer you cannot deny. I challenge you to a legitimate boxing match. Eight rounds, three minute rounds, score professionally. I actually talked to Triller. They said we can probably get on the Tyson versus Jones undercard fight on November 28th, if you accept. So big shout out to Triller. <laughs> By the way, being on the undercard of the fight, this is probably gonna be one of the biggest fights. Tyson and Jones and we're on the undercard. It's a pretty big fucking deal. The entire world's gonna be attuned to it. I will be donating five hundred thousand dollars. Yes, you heard me correctly, Thomas. Five hundred thousand dollars to any charity of your choice if you beat me in a fight, in a boxing match. If I win, I donate the five hundred thousand dollars to any charity that my fans choose to vote on. It's a win win situation, dude. There comes a moment in a man's life when they have to face Damn, reality. Look at themselves in the mirror and ask themselves, and wait, this beef real is man? real? Do I really want to like, make the world a better place? Or am I just this full real? of shit? And a Total fucking pussy. I thought that they were just right trolling at first. You, Thomas. Me backed up by Triller and the Triller house, and you backed up by hype. No, but seriously, Thomas, I know you're watching this right now. Go to a mirror right now. Ask yourself, are you not going to help millions of people in need right now for selfish reasons? Or are you going to be a man, accept my challenge, and win or lose, help millions of people? You're making it hard for him to, you like, so decline this. Is hurt millions of people in need right now? This is not the fucking time, buddy. I'll be waiting for your answer. I'm sure the world is, too. Let's donate some fucking money. All right, guys, you made it to the end of the vlog, and according to the hype house, my my content only consists of shotgunning Red Bulls. I'm about Is to that prove true? Yeah. I'm actually about to prove them wrong. We don't just shotgun Red Bulls. We fucking drink alcohol. Get it right, pussy. So we got a Hype House member right here. Uh, he says he can drink. We'll see if that's uh, the case. Also, it's J-Rod's fucking 21st birthday. Ah, yeah. So that's actually the only reason we're getting fucked up tonight. And then in two days when it's my birthday, I guess we'll... <laughs> we <laughs> but uh, without further ado... Well, but who am I to say that? Jesus. 
this is like the like the fourth vlog that I've seen where the end was like this exactly this at the music blasting and they're just partying drinking and dancing <laughs> oh lord somebody threw up was that Josh dang over his balls right now oh. It's a birthday, bitch! Birthday, bitch! 21! Was there no music on that part? No, no music. That was embarrassing. Oh, okay. Hold on, because maybe I'm missing something, and I might need to watch his other video, too. Because... Okay, that was I surprised my best friend with his with Dream Girl. But he did post another video... A little bit before that, that said, um, listen up, Hype House owner. So, we're, we're going to click this one, too, because I don't really, like, I want to know what this is about. He might explain it. He might not. Let me turn this down, because it's really ad going on right now. I'm curious, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> Party anima. They just, they're really good at promoting their stuff. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Hope you freaking enjoyed that. Speaking of that fucking dope ass cinematic shit, I just dropped, no, I didn't drop merch. It's actually dropping on my birthday. This is the birthday merch, everybody. Go cop it on my birthday. August 14th. You see the boys flexing out. They look sexy. They look great. And they look fucking oh, it makes lavish, sense, boys. Though. You wear the merch, you always, actually immediately like, get swole because games. Look like at that, this, though. dude. You think, you think I had this before I fucking started like, wearing it? But anyways, anyways, August 14th. Animal. Don't forget to cop it. It is only going to be out for a limited time only. Partyanimal.shop. Top of the description. All right, peace. I'll go right back into it. Thomas Petru, what the fuck are you doing, dude? So if you guys aren't hip, a couple days ago, Hollywood Fix came up to me at Saddle Ranch after I was done eating and I was pulling away. He asked me a pretty general question. What's going on with the Hype House content, man? You saying it's all fake. Hype <laughs> House content is all fake. Did I fucking lie? Their content's fake. Everything that they do is fake. It's all shit content. They're filling pools up with balls. Like, what kind of fucking content is that? No fucking way! Holy shit! You're a fucking sad! Okay, yeah, I understand. I shouldn't have answered the question when paparazzi asked me, but I did. I'm kind of like a really honest guy. Remember, I practice authenticity, dude. Everything that I post is real completely. He decided to comment in the morning. The next morning, he commented this. We all make the same content. Instead of talking shit, let's talk about Lebanon. I completely agree with the last little statement in that sentence. Let's talk about Lebanon. But we don't make the same content. I don't fill my pool up with balls. That shit's fucking whack. I don't fake my videos. I don't fake confrontations. I don't do any of the fake shit. Everything that I do is completely real or two completely different levels. Respect what you're doing because you're filming for 10-year-olds or whatever, however old your audience is. They enjoy watching you, a 22-year-old man, fill up a pool with balls, colorful balls. Go right ahead. That shit's, I guess, just not my forte. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll stick to making videos my supporters enjoy. You stick to getting locked up for drug use, bullying people for clout, and shotgunning Red Bulls. I prefer my land. Didn't he just comment that he didn't want to feed into drama because of the Lebanon stuff? He just did, yeah. Oh, okay, so he contradicted himself. And I actually said that. If <laughs> you, I caught you in a fucking bull. Bullshit, dude. You can't outsmart me, man. You're a dumbass. You just contradicted yourself. You can't you can't argue with me and then say that you don't want to feed into drama because there's more important issues going on in the world right now, which is completely true, and then continue to feed into the drama. But that's basically what happened. That's the story. I wanted to set up a boxing thing with him, but I wanted to do it like, you know, kind of like the Logan and KSI thing. That shit's fucking dope. I want to fight. That's fun. He doesn't want to do that type of stuff, one, because he knows I'll win, and two, he thinks that, uh, actually, I don't even know why he doesn't want to do it, to be honest. He's scared. I think he's scared. It's, it's just he's scared. He knows that he doesn't want to get embarrassed in front of millions of people. But I did receive from a very reliable source that he said off camera he was gonna beat my ass because all I do is shit for the camera, right? I only care about clout. Huh. Can we put up a few of Thomas's videos where he actually exploits all of the most popping people in the hype house right here real quick? Oh yeah, but I'm the one that does shit for clout. You know my address, buddy. You do. Come through. We don't have to film anything. You're a fucking pussy. The whole world knows it. Alright, back to the fucking vlog, everybody. <laughs> 
<laughs> so uh, I just come back from charging my car to uh, Nick oh, in a wedding dress. Oh, it. Apparently now I'm fucking married. Jaden looks fly as fuck. Well, now that Nick's dressed up in, in like a dress, there's only one thing we can do. Sway oh, I remember this. Oh, oh, this sway montage. That video. Yeah. Yeah. Was, Griffin's it didn't, channel. It didn't. It didn't. Oh, no. No. Wait, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. That was a mix. All right. It's perfect. I'm pretty sure. Yo, is this what? I definitely am glad I watched this video. Wow. So, so Thomas. Well, technically, Bryce started it. He's talking mess. Well, not talking mess, but he basically said something that Thomas didn't like. And. Oh my gosh. No, don't look at it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to subscribe, seriously. You're in Blake's room just drinking. I don't give a shit. Don't forget to subscribe, seriously. Pipe Mouse can't do this shit. I'm serious. Okay. So, Hollywood Fix came up to Bryce and Carl and, you know, asked him about like, how he thought about the, whatever, about the hype house and stuff. He asked him about the hype house. And then Bryce, you know, was, mm. but he said that their content was fake. Mm. Yikes, man, yikes. I mean, dang. I get that Bryce is a open person, a, a blunt person at that. He just, you know, says what it says. He just says whatever is on his mind. He just, you know, he never lies. You know, he's just truthful. Well, with no filter also. <sighs> Mm, but he wanted to fight Thomas, and and they were cool. Cause I I remember that video where Thomas put pictures of Bryce on Addison's car. Was it that way? And I think I reacted to that video. But dang. And then I mean, shoot, if you make it on a list of people that Bryce calls a pussy, then that's tough because <laughs> that's just so tough. I wonder if they're gonna fight. Do y'all think they're gonna fight like on camera for like a boxing match, or do y'all think a conversation gonna go down off camera? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I I really like Thomas, and I'm not gonna say I don't like Bryce, but I've always had this thing about Bryce where I just felt like he was a very mm, I don't know the word to use. I think y'all know the word. You're probably trying to make up words for me, but an asshole basically, but like, I don't know. It just kind of seems that way. From especially with all this stuff, like the stuff that he's saying. But then again, I don't know what Thomas is saying off camera either. You know, Thomas can be, you know, all nice and stuff through camera and stuff, but off camera, like Bryce said that he heard that Thomas was saying I was gonna beat his ass, blah, blah, blah. Which, that's the kind of talk you want to, you want to be on that kind of talk, especially when somebody is trying to, you know, trying to start a fight with you. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give this video a like. Comment down below what y'all think about the situation. And, um, yeah, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I post, and you'll see me in the next video. Stay lit, y'all. Yeah. It's KDZ, baby.